What's up, nerds? This is Mr. Storm. Today we're going to talk about some advanced uh, concepts in Microsoft Publisher. We used Microsoft Publisher in the previous class uh, to do a lot of our documents, and we didn't really dig too deeply into what it can do um, as far as uh, allowing ourselves to be more productive uh, using Microsoft Publisher. And today we're going to talk about a very specific uh, very specific concept that you're going to need to understand in order to do the next couple of assignments, and it's a concept called Master Pages. Master pages are kind of like templates for specific pages within your document. And it's really important for multi-page documents because you want to have a specific format that most of your pages follow. You can apply quickly um, uh, to a, a large number of pages at one, uh, at one time. So I'm going to show you how to check out your master pages, um, how to see where they are, and how to, how to uh, uh, make, set up a master page. Um, so I'm going to go to master page. So first what I did was I went to view, and then there's this button for master page. I'm going to click that, and then it creates a new context sensitive tab up here in Microsoft Publisher. So I click that. Now I have some options here that I can look at. I can add a master page. I can do a two page master. I can apply it to specific pages. Um, I can duplicate. I can do a sh header and footer, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to add a master page. So I already have an A. I can add a master page B, so I have two separate master pages. So I'm actually going to have a master page A and a master page B. And I'm not going to set it up as a two-page master for now. All right, now what I can do is any changes I make to page A, um, I can then apply those changes to any other pages in my document pretty much immediately. So I'm going to go in here and oh, I'm going to go to Home. Actually, I will insert. And what I want to do here is I want to have a, uh, let's say I want to have a, uh, the title at the, top of the, at the top of the page. I want to have some kind of uh, text box at the top of the page here. Oh, oh, come on. My, uh, my mouse just freaked out for a second. I'm going to draw a text box up here. And I'm going to type, you know, uh, master page tutorial. And I'm going to you know, make sure my text is nice. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so it's easier to see. I'm going to make sure my text is nice and big. Uh, so let's choose a 14-point font. Let's choose a better-looking font. Uh, let's try something with, uh, let's try a serif font so that it looks a little bit nicer. Um, Times New Roman's always classic. Let's find that. Let's do a Times New Roman. Or let's do. Uh, see, I'm not going to get stuck looking for fonts because I could. You guys know me; I could spend all day just looking for the right font. Um, I'm going to center align this on the vertical space, and then I want to make sure that it's it's exact. Oh, I have my other. All right, I want to make sure it's lined up exactly in the center of the page, so my guidelines aren't popping up. But I'll make sure it's it, it's pretty close. Now it's really close to the top of my. Uh, of my uh, boundary there, but that's okay. Um, all right, so I have that, and I'm going to do uh, for this. I want to have the page number on this side, so I'm going to insert, and uh, let's see, I'm going to insert page number. I'm going I'm to do it top left, and actually, I'm going to put this up here at the top, so that it's above. So page number up there, top left. Now what I could do is I could do literally the same thing down here. I can have, you know, copy this element. Nope. Copy this uh, text box here. Control C. Go down here, Control V. Put that in the same spot. And I can do page number top right over here. So now I have two master pages. And uh, maybe instead of ma master page tutorial, I could put you know, on the first page, I can put my name. Oh, where's that element? There we go. Oh, come on. This is why you want to make sure you don't stack things inappropriately. Uh, there we go. I'm going to replace this with my name. I'm going to move that out of the way so it's easier to manipulate.
okay and then I will put that back up there up at the top now if you think about it like this I'll have this will be the left page and this will be the right page so I'll have page number at the top with this as somewhat of a header page number and then on the right page I'll have page number on the, on the right with this as somewhat of a header so if you're thinking about this like it's a book like it's a multi-page document and I want to you know make sure they know what page they're on and they want to know what they're actually looking at this is a great way to do it um, now when I go back to over here and I can add a new well, let's go out of master page view let's go back to normal view now it automatically applied the master page to the first uh, page let's insert a new blank page now it applied it to the second page as well but I actually want a different master page here so I'm gonna right click on the page go to master pages and make it master page B so now I have this page and that page and I can add as many pages as I want I'm, I'm gonna view it two-sided actually make that come on anyway um, I'm gonna insert as many pages as I want and I'm gonna add master pages to them as I go and by default it's gonna try to pick my master page a but I can very quickly come in here and pick master page B so hopefully you're seeing how this would be effective in creating multi-page documents you don't have to um, especially think about this in, in, in terms of a novel. That's going to be the next assignment you do, is you're going to be typesetting a novel. Now, I'm not going to make you do a whole novel. You're going to do a couple chapters of a novel. But you're going to be typesetting that novel. <coughs> and imagine how much of a pain it would be to have to, um, to, have to go through and, you know, uh, duplicate each of these pages, put the text on them, and everything like that. So what we're going to do for, like, a novel is we would have a big text box in the middle and we would put the text in there and I'll show you that in the next tutorial uh, for the next assignment what I want you to do today though is I want you to create an, a couple of master pages um, and you don't have to please don't copy exactly what I did because you know be you know find something interesting to do with it but create a couple master pages play around with them um, you know make a document that utilizes master pages in some way um, and make it obvious that you're using master pages I, I want to make sure that uh, um, I want to make sure that it, it's it's easy I can see that you use master pages the whole goal of this assignment is to get comfortable using master pages because you're going to be using them for uh, quite a few uh, assignments that we do from now on but play around with the master pages um, make a document that utilizes master pages and then I want you to export that document as a PDF and send me the PDF on Google Classroom uh, for credit for this assignment. Okay, uh, thank you very much for paying attention. Um, you know, have fun, explore, experiment. Uh, let me, I, I want to see some cool stuff. So that's the whole point of this class is making cool stuff. So this is just one tool to kind of save your workflow and help you plan out your documents a little bit better. All right, um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for paying attention.